A massive new interstellar traveller has entered our solar system, an object so immense and brilliant that astronomers describe it as nearly 100 times larger and more luminous than 3I Atlas. First detected on September 12, 2025, using the SWAN, instrument aboard the ESO spacecraft, its discovery immediately set off a chain of global observations. Within 48 hours, Australian comet hunter Michael Matiazzo captured a stunning image that left scientists speechless. This wasn't just another visitor from the void, it was something entirely different, a spectacle blazing toward the sun with a ferocity that dwarfs every known comet sighting in recent memory. Its sudden appearance has already ignited debates among astronomers, some calling it the most significant interstellar object discovered since Oumuamua. Others suggest that its timing, arriving just as 3I Atlas closes in on its own solar encounter, cannot be coincidence. If you're fascinated by mysteries like this one and want to stay updated on discoveries reshaping our view of the universe, make sure to subscribe for more. Its physical features are just as astonishing. The newcomer's tail stretches nearly two astronomical units across the sky, roughly five times the width of the full moon as seen from Earth. Against this dazzling sweep of light, 3 Eye Atlas's own thin filament of a tail looks almost insignificant, like the trail of a lone matchstick compared to a wildfire. The sheer scale of this tail indicates a tremendous release of material or energy far beyond what a typical comet would produce. Some astronomers have even speculated that this might not be simple outgassing from solar heating, but a more controlled or directed phenomenon. Its brightness and sharply defined tail make it one of the most visually striking objects ever captured. By amateur and professional telescopes alike, a glowing sphere cutting across the cosmic dark. The International Astronomical Union moved quickly to classify and name the object, granting it the designation CC2025 R2 SWAN after its instrument of discovery. Initially known as SWAN 25B, its formal naming cemented its place in the astronomical record, but naming it did little to quiet the questions. Unlike 3I Atlas, which hails from a region near the galactic core, Swan's origin point is radically different. It came screaming in from Aquarius, a completely unrelated trajectory, making the idea that they are fragments of the same body virtually impossible. This independence deepens the mystery. Two unrelated interstellar objects arriving in our solar system within months of each other and both on course to meet the Sun at nearly the same moment. For many in the scientific community, this coincidence strains belief. Could two such wanderers really appear back to back after eons of silence? Or are we witnessing something coordinated, some cosmic event larger than we understand? This sense of timing is what troubles astronomers most. Swan will make its closest approach to the Sun, its perihelion, at a distance of about 150 million kilometers. Just days later, 3I Atlas will pass at 103 million kilometers. On a cosmic scale, the difference is razor thin, barely 50 million kilometers apart, and the gap is narrowing as gravitational forces subtly alter their velocities. For a brief moment in October 2025, the two objects will disappear from every Earth-based telescope, swallowed by the blinding glare of the Sun. When they emerge again, their paths may be forever changed, or one may not reappear at all. Astronomers are bracing for what could be an unprecedented natural experiment, two interstellar travelers possibly communicating, maneuvering, or even colliding beyond our sight. Whatever happens in those hidden weeks near the Sun could rewrite what we know about comets, interstellar matter, and perhaps even intelligent design in the universe. As both interstellar objects close in on the heart of the solar system, the timing becomes increasingly eerie. Swan's perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, will be roughly 150 million kilometer, practically the same distance as Earth's orbit. Just a few days later, 3I Atlas will follow on its own path, passing the Sun at about 103 million kilometers. The gap between them, barely 50 million kilometers, might seem vast by human standards, but on a cosmic scale it is the equivalent of two bullets passing within inches of one another. Even more unsettling is the fact that during this crucial moment, both objects will vanish from view, hidden behind the sun's blazing disk. For weeks, 
No telescope on Earth will be able to track them. It is as though the universe itself has drawn a curtain, leaving humanity blind to whatever is about to unfold. Astronomers are preparing for this blackout with a mix of dread and anticipation. When the two visitors reappear on the other side, their courses may be drastically altered, revealing whether they interacted gravitationally or perhaps in ways no one expects. Will they accelerate, decelerate or shift trajectories entirely? Some even speculate about the possibility of a near miss or more dramatically, a collision. If either object fragments near perihelion, the resulting debris could shower the inner solar system, creating a spectacular meteor display or a hazard to satellites and spacecraft. Whatever the outcome, the October window represents a once-in-a-lifetime alignment, and its implications may extend far beyond astronomy. What is most disconcerting, however, are the properties these objects appear to possess. Data from 3i Atlas has already shaken the scientific community. Spectroscopy suggests its composition is dominated by pure nickel, without the iron content normally found in natural meteoritic material. This unusual makeup alone would be enough to spark debate, but it is the energy readings that have truly alarmed researchers. Instruments have measured emissions consistent with a sustained 10 gigawatt power source buried deep within the object, comparable to 50 nuclear power plants operating in unison. Even stranger, its tail does not behave like ordinary cometary outgassing. Instead of a chaotic spray of sublimating ice, its emissions form a narrow collimated jet, as if under deliberate control. The flow is constant, maintaining a fixed velocity, and at perihelion its colour abruptly shifts from red to green, an event that Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calls thrust modulation. In his view, the object is not merely venting gas, but actively steering, adjusting its trajectory as solar heating increases. If 3i Atlas resembles a probe, Swan R2 is something far more formidable. Early observations indicate a sheath of highly ionized plasma surrounding its core, creating a shimmering barrier capable of deflecting charged particles from the solar wind. Unlike a passive cometary coma, this shield seems to fluctuate dynamically, almost as though it were being tuned in real time. Its vast luminous tail, spanning five full moons, suggests immense power behind its emissions. Even more astonishing, small periodic changes in brightness have been detected, hinting at bursts of controlled propulsion. These light pulses match what would be expected from a high-efficiency plasma drive, gently but precisely, nudging the object along its path. Spectral analysis further revealed traces of nickel-cobalt plasma mixed with carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide a chemical cocktail that does not match any known natural process. Producing such a mixture would require temperatures and magnetic confinement beyond anything that occurs spontaneously in comets. And then there is the core itself. If 3i Atlas's 10 gigawatt output was shocking, Swan's core is staggering. Its energy levels are calculated to exceed 10,000 gigawatts every second. To put this in perspective, that is nearly the total power consumption of human civilization compressed into a single interstellar machine. Some theorists compare it to the energy release of merging black holes scaled down but perfectly contained. In their words, if 3i Atlas is a scout, then Swan is the fortress, a leviathan crossing the void on a mission that defies easy classification. Swan's core is claimed to output more than 10,000 gigawatts every second, an amount of energy so staggering that it dwarfs the entire electrical consumption of Earth by orders of magnitude. This is not a mere cometary nucleus. It is a controlled power source, a reactor humming at a level we can scarcely imagine. If such a device truly exists, it implies technology capable of sustaining, regulating and containing energy on a scale that rivals cosmic events. The idea that an object could traverse interstellar space, survive for tens of thousands of years, and then activate or brighten precisely as it nears our sun, suggests a system that is not just durable, but intelligent.